What's going on guys? My name's Aaron and thanks for coming back to the channel. You might be wondering why I got the spoon, right? So I'm in my bathroom, right? Spur of the moment idea, the spoon, right? That's a pretty big spoon, right? Super spoon, best spoon. So before I tell you my genius idea, right? Growing up, uh, my mom and my dad, you know, we were raised to always make sure we finish the food on our plate, whether it's out to eat or for dinner. And if you didn't like what was for dinner, that was it. You either ate or you starved. But if you did eat, you had to finish everything on your plate. So, I've been known to have an iron stomach. Uh, right, it's right here, you can't see it, but it's there. Anyhow, the inspiration today of growing up and always finishing the food on my plate and having an iron stomach, got the soup spoon, which, you know, a tablespoon's not good enough for me. I, with the help of Tara, picked out five things from our refrigerator and or cabinet that I'm going to take a spoonful of and uh, you know there's some good and there's some that are god awful that I do, don't want to try. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous because I, I mean with the helmet hair there's some things here that are good and then there's other things I'm gagging just thinking about ingesting into my stomach but you know this is going to be a series on the channel because it's so simple, right? I love soup. <laughs> this is so simple because it's literally, I can go to the grocery store. If you all have any suggestions, I can just pick up whatever you want. I'll try it and I might die, but it's okay because it's for you. And this is a great way to show off my personality because I, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot, right? So we're gonna range this in from good to what I think's terrible. All right, so first things first, we're starting out pretty simple. Uh, we got some Jet Puff Marshmallow Fluff Cream. Uh, so, really excited about this. And we're only gonna use this spoon, so if there's any like residual uh, juices on the spoon, it's just it's just gonna have to work. This is our first white product. I mean, it's, it's marshmallow fluff, so I'm not gonna fill the whole thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> mm. So, my thing was that, so, you know, I've had peanut butter and fluff sandwiches before, but I've never just had fluff on its own. It's good, and it's super sweet. I'm not really a big marshmallow fan anyway, but compared to the other things, it's not bad. And the issue now is I'm trying to like, uh, uh, I'm trying to like get this marshmallow fluff off. And it's just not coming off. Marshmallow fluff, fine. Not a big fan of marshmallow, yeah. Next up, Tara and I recently came back from Chincoteague, Virginia. We were on vacation with her mother, and we picked up this, uh, this right here, this Chincoteague Island Wild Pony Hot Sauce. We got it from a local place there. I forget the name of it, but look at that horse. I don't think I'm that in for it. I mean, looking at the ingredients, I just, ooh, ooh. So the first ingredient is vinegar, and then it's aged red habanero peppers. Uh huh. Because if you go to a grocery store, mainly with hot sauces, the first ingredient is going to be water and or vinegar. But then, being that the second ingredient is the uh, aged red habanero peppers, I'm kind of worried. I probably should have looked at the ingredients list before. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little spicy. But we're filling up the soup spoon, uh, which uh, is a terrible idea. But um, if you've never had a soup spoon before, you should definitely uh, get one. Oh, that's thick. Oh, that's thick. Mm-hmm. God, I gotta fill this whole thing up. Ah! Uh-huh. <coughs> it's, it's fine. <coughs> the marshmallow is still on there. <coughs> Sounds. Ooh. It's residual heat. So it's not terrible right off the bat. It's a nice heat. Habanero peppers aren't really that bad. I was worried when they said aged red habanero peppers, but it's really not bad. It's actually very good. Probably be very good on like chili or tacos or something like that. It's, it's a nice residual heat, but taking a whole soup spoon of it at once. Like it's nice, it's nice, it coats your mouth, coats your throat, coats your tongue, and then it just sits like a fucking rock in your stomach. <laughs> that being said, 
Next thing I have, I think, is much more spicier than the uh, than the chicken tikka hot sauce. Again, local place in chicken tikka, not bad. Cannot remember the name of it. I'll pop it up right here. But the next thing is probably one of my favorite things to put on sandwiches. Um, it's a nice heat. It's a nice flavor, and it's hoagie spread. Um, if you don't know what hoagie spread is, it's amazing. It's basically looking at the ingredients. It's peppers, vinegar, salt, sugar, and all the chemical shit. I think. Okay, no. It just barely. Just barely. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Oh, the, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I love this ingredient on sandwiches. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> that's just a lot. Is that? Okay, I think that's more than a soup spoonful because it's like. <laughs> so the thing <laughs> fluff's gone. Christ. It's not bad when you put it in. It's almost like the uh, hot sauce. It's very residual, but it's more heat. I don't I don't know why. I'm, it doesn't say what peppers they use in it, but it just says hot and fancy. Yeah, it just says hot, and I don't know what peppers are being used. It's obviously uh, not a habanero. God. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. You're gonna live. <sighs> so next is actually a um, an ingredient that I really like, but I, as far as ingesting a lot at once, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be a fan of, but it's Unagi sushi sauce. Unagi sushi sauce or eel sauce if you go out to a sushi restaurant. It's the nice like brown, like thick glaze they put over top of your sushi. Anytime that Tara and I go out to uh, this sushi shop in Shimmersburg called Kenzo's, Tara and I always get a tempura fried California roll and I and her always get extra unagi sushi sauce or eel sauce. Um, and uh, so imagine soy sauce, but thicker. Right? I, I think this is kind of it, and it has more of like a pungent flavor. Uh, going over the ingredients, oh, uh, the first ingredient is soy sauce. Who wouldn't know? Again, I love this one sushi, but it by itself, look how viscosity it is. Oh my god, it's like a syrup almost. So here's the thing. <laughs> I love the seal sauce, so I want to save some of it, so I'm not gonna like, I mean, that's that's basically it. Like, like it's thick. Oh god, dear Jesus. So, spoonful of eel sauce, or unagi sauce. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm tearing up a little. Like, here's the thing, it's, it's good flavor, it's so salty. I mean, like, you wouldn't do a whole thing of soy sauce. Do you know how, like, you're making something? Or you use soy sauce to like, you know, spice it up a little bit. Not spice it up, but like fucking season your food there, damn it. And um, like, you know, you put too much on it. Yeah, that's what this is. I love the flavor of the sauce, but it's like when you put it in your mouth, it's imagine tar, right? It's so thick and it's, it's almost like you're just drinking syrup. It's not bad. It's just not good on its own. So they gave you an update on my stomach. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna regret it later, obviously. <sighs> so, okay, for the last one, here's my thing. This is something I'm not particularly a fan of, but growing up, this is something that when I got home from school or, you know, or if I, it was like a late night stack, I would just go, get a piece of bread, slap this on, bam, down it, and it was one of the best things ever. It's mayonnaise. Not only mayonnaise, it's light mayonnaise, so that's even worse. God, okay. <coughs> I'm glad the fluff's gone and all the residual uh, other flavors, because not gonna lie, it might, might throw up a little bit. God, it's so thin, it's so thin now. You know how mayonnaise is thick? I've, been, I've had this sitting out, like, like, uh, it's like so thin now. I've had it sitting out for what? I've been recording for 19 minutes, 19 minutes! That's fair, right? Mm, it's just, it's just pudding. It's just banana pudding. Mm, vanilla pudding. Mm. I'm not a pussy. I'm not a pussy. Oh. God 
damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Oh. I'm gonna jump out this window. Fuck. God, god damn it, just give me bleach. Ugh. Yeah, no, that went well. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, do your worst. Um, leave a comment of what ingredient you think is the worst and I'll, I'll do it, right? I, nothing's gonna beat mayonnaise. Y'all do your best. Uh, if, if this video doesn't get a comment, I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Cause like, listen, I know like pain is like one of the funniest things to watch. And like, yeah, it's not physically painful, but it's like mentally excruciating. And it's like, like my belly is just like, the fuck? Thank you all so much for watching. Um, next time, if this video does well, what I'll do, Whatever ingredients. Oh, there's the heat. <laughs> there's the hobby spread. But thank you all so much for watching. If you have a, and, and, and I'm having a stroke. If you all have an ingredient that you want me to put in my mouth with the, with the big old soup spoon, uh, let me know. And then if this video does well, what I'll do, whatever five ingredients I have next time, I'll mix them up. Mm-hmm. And then I'll uh, I'll take one final, you know, I'll take one final <laughs> huzzah sorta of, sorta of deal. So uh, if y'all wanna see that, if y'all wanna see me in more pain, let me know. Uh, that being said, uh, go fuck yourself and have a great day. Love you all.